How to make a parametric perforated plate in Revit. Let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. And select metric generic pattern base. Okay. Open. Select the grid. Change the horizontal and vertical spacing to 1000 millimeter. Okay. Next, change the scale to 1 is to 20. Okay. Select point element. Set work plane. Set this work plane. Pick point. Set work plane, set this work plane, pick point, okay, set work plane, set this work plane, pick point, set work plane, set this work plane, pick point, okay, next, create. Uh, align dimension select this vertical work plane select the point okay select this vertical work plane select the point okay next select the dimension create new parameter type whole offset okay next select this dimension go to label and select the whole offset dimension select this vertical work plane select the point okay Select the vertical work plane. Select the point. Okay. Select. Select the point. Select the vertical work plane. Select the point. Okay. Select. Select. Okay. One more. Select the work plane. Select the point element. Okay. Select all the dimension. Go to label and select whole offset. Okay. Next, change the scale to 1 is to 10. Okay. Next, download and open the file the profile adaptive four point circle okay open okay this is the adaptive four point circle load into the project okay pick at this point this point this point and this point okay next select the four reference line create form okay select the solid the form okay positive offset pick the button and create new parameter Okay, type panel thickness. Okay, okay. Next, go to family types. Let's change the panel thickness to uh, 50 millimeter. Okay, let's change the graphic display to wireframe. Select the circle, 
create form select form okay go to positive offset pick the button and create new parameter okay type void thickness okay okay next go to family types void thickness go to formula let's make a formula panel thickness times 2 okay next uh, graphic display select the hidden line select this form okay go to identity data and select void okay then select cut okay next select the form control tab to select uh, material and finishes let's create a material parameters name it panel finish okay okay next let's go to family types let's change the whole offset to 100 okay let's try 200 okay perfect Okay, let's change it to 50 millimeter. The panel thickness 10 millimeter. Apply. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Next. Save the family. Okay. Let's save this to desktop. Name it. single hole pattern base save okay next let's open a project let's select the architectural template okay open go back to the family load into project and close okay next go to massing and site turn on show mass select in place mass okay let's try the component select reference plane uh, reference line select the rectangle let's draw a rectangle 1000 by 1000 millimeter okay pick okay select this reference line let's change the dimension to 1000 okay select the four reference line okay let's go to 3d Okay, select again, create form, okay, select the surface, okay, control tab to select the surface, divide surface, okay, now let's apply the single hole pattern, okay, go to edit type, let's change the whole offset maybe it's too big let's change it to 5 millimeter okay perfect let's change the panel thickness to 6 millimeter okay next let's make a copy okay
pick okay next select let's try to change the B grid to 20 okay so you have like an ellipse perforation okay copy okay let's copy one more okay pick okay select and now let's change it to 30 apply okay perfect done